What's up, bro? Not much, just chilling. <laughs> man, it's been a while since we actually kicked it, man. It's been forever. At least two years. <laughs> <laughs> yo, look look at these times. Look at what we're wearing right now. We're going to watch this someday. We're going to be like, yo, we're wearing <laughs> fucking <laughs> <laughs> coronavirus protection masks. And yeah. Some fashion statement now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's funny because when I was in Asia, it's like, it's, it's normal to wear yeah, stuff like this. Yeah, people just wear masks. Yeah, and then yeah. if you wore shit like this in America, people were like, what the fuck? Yeah, this guy's a weirdo. Like, like, yeah, are they sick, laugh like, at you? Look at Or like, you got like a fucking rave or some shit and they're yeah. just like. Yeah, yeah raves is more common, <laughs> I guess. But just on public, it'd be weird, right? Yeah. Now you could just walk around with a mask. It's yeah, like people are like, oh, okay. It's normal again. Yeah. It's normalized here now. So yeah. that's that's great it's because. I you know I don't smoke. I got mad homies that do, and you know, now I don't look weird. I just put on my mask. Like, <laughs> what are you wearing your mask for? I don't know. Your breast stink. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like you know, how people be smoking, and then their bre- their their it mouth is all dry, like, yeah, and it like, smells like ass. Like yo, dude. Yeah. You know who used to do that all the time? I'm gonna put him on blast right now. But but shout out to my boy Dev. <laughs> 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 oh, Dev is fun. mad cool. I love Dev, but he's a big time stoner. You know, at, out of all the like BU RCC guys, <laughs> he would show up, it's you know, high as fuck, this right? Stuff. And then he talked to me, and his breath is just kicking, bro. <laughs> like, damn, like I, 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 I talked to him like this. You ever talk to someone like this? Like, like, hey, Aaron, and uh, you're, you're talking see, I'm to just me? really tall, like, so you know, shit. I just kind of just. Oh, you're lucky. You don't <laughs> I'm have just to, like, all you know, right. Just, I just no. put my chin up a little bit, and then just. Okay, it goes <laughs> but they away. look up to you, so they have to. They're like projecting it nah, towards man, you. Like you just, just, just lean back a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Damn, man. So like, it's crazy because everyone in that group from King, it's like, not everyone, but a lot of us, a lot of people are doing like went on to just do a bunch of different things. Yeah. It's, it's really interesting and impressive it's cool to see it's mm. cool to watch you know like seeing what you what you've been doing you're doing you're out there doing your thing killing it sterling i know geo was doing his thing yeah. for a minute <laughs> even brian was doing choreo with you for yeah. a minute yeah i know like, he came through for a year and, and like, you know and then he's doing he's always breaking it's just like it's pretty sick to see you know like, yeah most definitely yeah i mean you've been doing choreo for you said eight years now yeah about eight years or so damn yeah. and then you when you started i remember it's because so you, you were going to RCC, but you joined yeah. CF. Yeah, so I was still, yeah, I was still, I was still uh, sessioning in RCC because I had like all the time whenever there was like gap classes and stuff mm-hmm. like that. But then at nighttime, I would always go to like rehearsals at UCR and stuff like mm-hmm. that. So that was, it was crazy for sure. Um, yeah. Took up a lot of time, but I mean, I don't think I ever really fully like left like freestyling. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I wasn't like super present, but uh, so I was, it was always something that I would come back to. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just, it's just think about it now, like. You were just there as mm-hmm. a like as a grunt learning to <laughs> now you're you became one of the directors. Yeah, no, that's crazy, dude. Yeah, uh, it's had a, like a full circle moment, kind of like coming back and then leading. And it's crazy because like when I was director, uh, all the kids that I directed now are all graduating. They're all old and they're all doing their own thing now. And it's kind of chippy to me because like they reach out and send messages like, "Hey man, like this is a dope experience. Like thank you for everything you've done." And it's like it's kind of weird being on that receiving end of things because it's like I never thought that I would be like instructing or. Uh, just kind of on like the other side in or like the leadership role rather than just kind of practicing and always kind of focusing on like my own craft you know yeah so it's it's nice but i mean it it doesn't stop you know like there's still tons of shit that i have to do so yeah okay what is that what are your goals man um sure right now i'm like taking a bit of a step back from uh, the community choreo scene a little bit um i've done pretty decent amount of things through it um so i'm trying to take more of like i guess like an oh, industry talk about some of those things it's okay bro i want you to brag a little bit uh, you know? like, it's, it's time to brag right now it's time to. Uh, what dude. have you done what have you done what do you have you done that feels like an accomplishment or feels like like an accolades or you know something um, like a milestone for you, yeah. you know? i mean most recently just being able to like hit that like that USA final stage at Hip Hop International with the uh, Vimo GTS LFG like it was it was a dope experience for sure mm-hmm. um aside from that just being in the same room and competing on the stage with people that are like heavy hitters in the game is like crazy to me or even the fact that like I've been able to teach at different events where there's other like well known people and I'm like man that's like I never thought I would see my name on like a flyer with some of these other people so Damn. it's a yeah, that's- it's a dope feeling to have knowing that you're like making progress um 
even just kind of making a dent, getting out there, finding out that people know who I am, and I'm like, I have no clue who these people are, but <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's it's pretty chill. Um, yeah, so, I mean that, that's that's for the most part that. I mean, competition wise, like I've won a couple competitions with some teams that I've been a part of, um, not frequently, but I don't know, just the work that goes into like a set or something choreography wise, like people put in a lot of work and it goes um, unnoticed a lot of the times. Um, but I don't know. I'm trying to take a little bit of a step back, um, go back to my roots a little bit, freestyling, battling, if anything. Um, aside from that, I'm also just looking for more like industry work. Um, I know at the beginning of this year, I was blessed with the music video opportunity for this artist from Def Jam, um, and it was dope because since I'm not signed to a label or anything, or not label, uh, signed to like an agency, an agency or anything, yeah. um, I got to keep like all the profits, and it was like super super dope. But um, yeah, so I mean, just looking for more gigs, stuff like that. Um, I actually got asked to choreograph for an artist's tour, but it got canceled because of COVID and all that shit. Uh, it wasn't like a super big artist, but it was somebody from like uh, Washington. Mm. So it was dope. I was like, oh, I can choreograph for it, maybe come out for a couple shows or something if it's out in the area. Um, so that's still in the works. Um, I can't name who because I signed a contract. I can't say shit. I can't say shit. That's exciting, All bro. the music's unreleased and stuff like that. It's still something that could happen. I don't know if it will, though, but I, you never because know. The like, coronavirus. Yeah, so it's, it's kind of hard to say. Like uh, Everyone's plans are kind of shifting. Everyone, so. yeah. But that's for the most part what I'm leaning towards right now. I'm just trying to do more of an industry route, go for agencies, kind of develop a brand with my dance as well as creating content that's like thought-provoking and all that stuff. Um yeah hmm yeah man that's fucking dope <laughs> you got mad goals bro man. that's great though bro that's just that's just how it is i mean that's how it should be yeah and i'm like i'm really proud of all you guys oh, yeah, i'm dude. really proud of you because i've seen you grow you know what i'm saying i was there from day one bro we we're all yeah. and we all used to just hang out after fucking miss wool's class yeah <laughs> miss wool's class or we'd be having those little ciphers and we'd all be rapping together and you'd be making you'd be making bubbles with <laughs> yeah uh, I probably shouldn't COVID but uh, yeah, let's see come on you still do it let's see yeah I don't know I don't know I don't know if they I don't know if they can see that but, yeah. <laughs> dude I haven't done that yeah damn see and from that it's like it's crazy too because when you have this large group of people that you're around mm-hmm. and you guys are all just like I was the most experienced one and i wasn't even yeah. experienced by far right but i was so. like trying to teach you guys whatever i knew but when you when you're around the everyone we're, for the most part we're just having fun yeah, and just doing our own thing Time and flies. Just, just vibing out and that's what it was about but you don't realize or you don't know what route or where everyone's gonna go after yeah, you know that's like crazy like you could have easily just got just started just only working and just went into like a regular mm-hmm. career and things like that you know and and then not no knock to anyone that did do that and i'm proud of them too but it's just interesting to see the people that actually fell in love with it the people that yeah, actually were passionate about it you know yeah, what i mean it's crazy no I, yeah. I don't think it's something that like, like I've, I've, I've tried quitting <laughs> like when i got hurt i was like no nah, fuck this i'm done but like i couldn't i just like i'm stuck in this shit you know like mm. experiencing the culture is like it's something that's a part of me now and mm. it's like you can't like take that away if you do then i'm just kind of like a fucking vegetable you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i know exactly what you mean I, I think for the people that don't fall in love with it the way we have i feel like they just didn't have that one positive ass experience yeah, that one that good fa- moment yeah like for me it, it what kept me going even years later was like the rebirth of the feeling and it was it yeah. was during times when like rhythm bug I mean, rhythm yeah, rhythm rug. Rug. we're at the rhythm rug and everyone's ciphering and everyone's free and we're all just, just vibing out, and i'm like happy. dude i love this energy like this is the kind of shit i want to be around for the rest of my life yeah. like something about that mm-hmm. it, it really like reawakens you. like home yeah yeah. And then I had a moment like that in the Philippines where we're all ciphering and, and just vibing together, and it makes me feel the same way. I'm like, damn, yo, I want this shit forever, you know? And yeah. then it just always reoccurs to me. I feel that. But that's the feeling I'm always looking forward to now. You know, I'm always looking forward to having that feeling again. Yeah. And it's not like, that's why I love all styles, like open styles yeah. versus breaking. I love breaking ciphers too, and it's fun too, but breaking's more aggressive you know we're just yeah. like you know like we're here to smoke each other right. open but styles, open like, styles like is more vibing kind of everyone's like, just having a glass like, yeah. and partying so it's like i like being in that atmosphere i feel that i like both atmospheres but yeah. for different reasons you know what i'm saying i feel i feel that for sure yeah it's like um 
Yeah, like for sure, open styles is just a fucking party. It just feels like home breaking. Like I love like the aggressiveness that like yo like you're trying to like it's like a competition. Mm-hmm. The competitiveness mm-hmm. in me is like yo I like yeah. this shit. Mm-hmm. And then like choreo scene like it's dope because like you can for me it's like you can put a lot of motion and shit into like a lot of performances and stuff like that. And like it's crazy the type of things you can make people feel just by watching like uh, something put together and like mm-hmm. the kind of imagery or themes and stuff that like that shit like it's crazy the amount of work that people put into it like all the creative directors out there that are doing shit like that so mm-hmm. um, it's dope how each scene has their own kind of little like feeling that like is kind of like prominent mm-hmm. so yeah and then mm-hmm. and then I think that's the what going back to what I was saying that's like the thing that would make someone stay or stick with yeah. it mm-hmm. you know if they just experienced because I haven't, I haven't experienced the choreo thing, you know. I mean, I, I experienced doing choreo with all you guys at one. And yeah. that, the thing that's cool about that is you guys vibe together as a group. Yeah. You guys hang out with yeah. each other every day because like you're, you're practicing. Because you're practicing. Yeah, because yeah, you're practicing. You have to practice together for mad hours. Yeah. So you guys are hanging out, goofing around together. Like, mm-hmm. you guys come up with this piece together and you guys create a bond from, from that. Yeah. And I know, I kind of know what that's like. But yeah. for people who haven't experience those positive energies positive vibes mm-hmm. that's what pro- probably makes them like eh, this is cool but i'm gonna go on and do my own thing you know yeah yeah um yeah no it's, it's super dope um i think for me like with choreo it didn't really hit me until probably not until like my second year um we had one like iconic performance and our not gonna lie our performance was hella messy like we didn't look good but the theme was like mad dope and everyone like flipped out standing ovation and mm-hmm. because we put like so much time and like hard work into it mm-hmm. like when we hit the last pose everyone just started crying because we saw like fucking standing ovation and it was just it was like what the fuck just happened or like, like your whole team like like uh, like our whole team started crying because everyone in the crowd was just on their feet just standing and we're like yeah, whoa yeah, or yeah. some no-name team from like the ie came out of nowhere or just put on some shit and we got robbed i'm i'm, I'm still salty. <laughs> I'm still salty because now nah, let me talk about this shit talk about quick. it go so ahead so fucking we did a lion king set and that shit was tight and it was like it came we did that set the year that they were coming out with like the remake and all that shit and mm. i was like yo this is very relevant right now so like that shit was hard and it this was is like CF? It was dope. yeah this CF? Is CF. Okay. we did the fucking lion king set fucking standing ovation right we got our score sheets and we were like what the fuck because like all right so our scores we had 397s it's out of 100 and i was mm-hmm. like already right there like that's what the fuck 397s we had a 92 and then the, the last score a 57 like what the fuck how do you just <laughs> Whoa. so after that year they started averaging shit so if they would have averaged our scores we would have won first place i mean we still took fourth which was pretty cool but like also what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. How, 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 why did they give you fifty seven? Who was that? The, oh, wow. Do you know who that was? I know who it was. <laughs> it's fucking Miguel Zarati. Oh man, dude. Why do you think he did that? Though? Um, the thing is, I don't know, cause like he's a very like professional industry dancer. Like, mad respect for him for his art and the shit that he does, cause he's dope at what he does. But like, I don't think he's really a community dancer or anything like that. So like, throughout that whole competition, it wasn't just us. Plenty of teams were getting these really really off scores. Like everyone else would be like, yeah, this is really dope. Da-da-da. And he would write like 57, no comments on the sh- on the sheet at all. So it doesn't tell us what we can do to do better or to fix it or uh, adjust because uh, we use that same performance yeah. for another competition. 57 so is like, pretty low. I feel like yeah, it's like, like from from 97 to 57. <laughs> that's a very big margin. You should, you like, should at least explain it. Yeah, <laughs> it's like if there's something why. wrong, you can yeah. at least be like, yo, I didn't like this. This is what I thought lacked. I didn't I didn't get it. You know, or like I don't know, maybe you've never seen The Lion King or some shit. But like fucking <laughs> yeah. like. You can't just like write nothing and just f like I don't know. It yeah, just, that's, that's it kind of it threw me off. But at the same time, like although like it was bullshit, nothing can replace that like feeling of being on that stage, that moment right there. Like we're only on stage for like five minutes, and it goes by like that, and it's like fucking crazy because it's like I'll never forget that exact moment on that stage for sure. Um, and there's only maybe like a couple moments I can pinpoint from being on a stage where I've actually felt that. Um, but I don't know. It's crazy. Those those moments for sure. Yeah, uh, see, people the, fall the, into it. That's kind of those things. Like I've I've heard it. Like winning isn't everything. But for yeah. me, like it, winning is important. Oh yeah. But but that's one of those moments where it does feel like it. Where winning mm-hmm. isn't everything because it's like you could do something where you you don't win the whole event, but yeah. you, you like say in a battle at, at a jam, right? You don't win the whole event. You're not the champion, yeah. but you had one set at that jam that like, stood out that everyone went crazy for you yeah. smoked the shit out of the other guy you killed the beat you destroyed yeah. it you blew it up everyone went crazy and everyone remembers that set yeah. out of the whole jam 
they don't even remember the the winners set. Like they don't even yeah. remember the champion, like but they one, remember that one set. So that it's like one Saul set. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. You know and you know, about. you know what? <laughs> Saul was the one who told me this, and I think he heard it from someone else. But he, he's the one who told me this. He, he said, "Don't do it, don't do it to be famous. Do it to be remembered." Oh yeah, right. Mm-hmm. And and that. see, that's why it's like you might not win, but if you mm-hmm. fucking kill it to where you're remembered, yeah, that's, that's all that really matters, yeah. actually. You know, so the more opportunities. Yeah, yeah, because they're gonna in. remember you. They'll yeah, remember yo, you. Yo, you yeah, he didn't win, but yo, he's he's. He killed yeah. it. Like he's he had that one hard crazy set. Yeah. So it's like I guess it's it's one of those things. You know, you guys yeah. didn't win, but it was very Everyone memorable. Was like, Yo, shit. So yeah, that's cool. And I guess those are the kind of moments you want to always have. And you know, and I guess you decide what's more important for you. You know. Yeah. I mean, but I, the way I see it is, as certain cases like that where maybe you should have won, mm-hmm. but you had. But you didn't. But you still killed it so n- enough to be remembered. But maybe you you deserve the win. Maybe you deserve to be a champion. Or you're on your way. Yeah. You're on your way. You know what I mean? I feel. Yeah. I mean, after that year, that's when things kind of started for me, at least, because mm-hmm. it was like I already felt like I was working hella. And then after that year is when I just moved in. That's when I joined 909. And then from there, like we started taking competitions that whole year, and like shit was crazy. So mm-hmm. uh, being put in the right atmosphere, like it. You can you can do it and like nowadays like like I said like or like you said winning isn't really everything like for sure being memory or being memorable or just kind of leaving a lasting impression on someone to where they're like yo that performance like that team like they stood out or mm-hmm. that one tall dancer like he was fucking killing it because for some reason people just remember me as like the fucking tall ass <laughs> guy from the dancing I'm like yeah yeah, yeah but that's me but the tall, the tall Jewish yeah, guy the, the tall <laughs> guy that's because fucking yeah I don't know but. <laughs> Um, fuck you. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, no, that's crazy. Yeah, man, that's yeah, that's that's what I, that's what I mean. It's, it's like a, you know, you just do your thing and and hope that it lasts in someone's mind. If you can affect mm-hmm. somebody, especially in dancing, yeah, I mean, that's why breaking isn't gonna really, ain't the it ain't really the dance. So that's like, gonna yeah, make someone like cry yeah it, for yeah. how you know beautiful you're breaking yeah. it breaking is gonna make you go crazy yeah, like that was insane yeah it's like a feeling you know it's like, a different that's, feeling yeah, you know it's different but and i feel like uh those kind of dances you know choreo is one yeah. one of those dances that can do it uh yeah. those contemporary modern yeah. type of dances those are like the kind yeah. of dances that try to appeal to uh, the, the other emotion yeah. it's crazy I mean. though because choreo can also do that hype shit too like the company mm, that I did yeah. for Hip Hop International mm. all fucking moments and just crazy ass shit and that mm. shit just like seeing it is fucking nuts dude it's yeah. just like whoa like it's it's crazy the things that you can do um, yeah because choreo you can incorporate all the different styles yeah. so that's what makes it you, yeah, you, so you're like, able to appeal versatile, different emotions yeah. for sure it's more versatile um, but yeah, so you said in 909, you guys started winning. How many competitions did you guys win? Um, well, name that, go ahead, that, name that drop. Year we took maxed out, I think 2015. Um, we ended up doing Showdown, which is like a club and competition with just local teams. We took, I think we took second for that one. Um, what else did we do that year? We did collaboration. We took third. Um, got out of the few, a couple comp- competitions. I think there was another one that we did. I didn't perform in that one, uh, but I choreographed for it and we took second. Um, I don't know. There's there's there was a lot of shit that year. That was that was one of the best years for 909. It was like the kind of the golden year because like they had never really won anything. Like yeah, they've been around that, forever. Yeah, was it's 909. It's their 23rd year, going to 24th year. Damn. So they've been around for a cool minute. Jesus. Um, but yeah, I mean it's 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 dope. Um, I think it's crazy like being able to like do other teams and come back and do Ultimate Brawl, which is 909's own competition, and then um. And then being in like those rinks or getting like to like place or exhibition and kind of like be on the other side of like the team where I started, you know, it's mm-hmm. it's a little weird, but it's cool. But I don't know, like things things are different. I mean, again, I'm pulling away from the choreo or not the choreo scene in general, but just like the community scene, the competitive aspect of that for other reasons. Um, I think if anything, if I do return, it's going to be with a project that is my own. That's uh, strictly invite only. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's going to be competitive shit. If I'm going, I'm winning everything. That's like the, that's the mood. Like, and I know I have people that are down and it's a process, but right now I'm looking towards other, uh, avenues to kind of like explore. Mm-hmm. Um, but when I do come back quarter scene, whether it's exhibition or competition, just know it's just going to pop off. Like mm-hmm. I already, I have, I have a lot of shit planned, but it's just doing it with the right people because I don't know like I've worked with like beginner teams mostly for like the times that I've directed or even when I had my own project team in Irvine that was cool um but I want to hold it to like a higher standard if I am going to do like competitions or something like that before it was just kind of like for fun um which it still is fun but like yeah you want to yeah I'm trying to 
want to get earn my get stripes, some dubs, you know? bro. Get some dubs. Oh, Every, who doesn't? You know, yeah. it's it's cool to have fun and all that. But you know, you want to get some Ws. You want to win yeah. some shit, man. I understand. Yeah. That's how it is. You make like a what, like a super team, a super crew yeah, team, uh, kind of ish. People like that have more experience. Yeah, it's just I just don't want like like beginner dancers per se. Like I, I'm not gonna host like auditions. I'm just literally just gonna invite people that I'm like, yo, like come through and dance on this. Mostly people that like I know like aren't doing teams or anything like that anymore. So that way it's not like I'm picking people that are on multiple squads and performing at the same thing. Because mm. I've been that person. I've been at a competition and perform with four different groups and like. It's crazy. <laughs> so, yeah, that sounds uh, crazy. It's a lot. It's a lot to remember. Uh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, no, um, I've definitely been that guy. Like, I've been to a competition and performed on, like, four teams. And, like, that shit's mad stressful. Um, I remember one time I was at Ultimate Brawl. And there was one team that, like, I only went to maybe, like, three rehearsals to. So, like, <laughs> I went in the beginning. And I, no, no, because, like, it was far. And, like, they were like, no, nah, don't worry about it. Like, you can just learn. And, like, later you'll be fine. So I was like, all right, for sure. <laughs> so <laughs> that shit what? was mad stressful. But, like, I showed up. And I remember, like, it was, like, the night before the competition. I showed up to the last practice. And then, like, I learned everything from a video that, like, like the morning of. And then I showed up. They placed me in all these spots. And I was like, all right i hope i remember all the shit because they were like good spots it wasn't like in the back corner like i was like right in the fucking like, oh, center shit. and i was like if i fuck up everyone's gonna know yeah <laughs> so i was like all right best but fucking i ended up learning everything from a video and then practicing and then like i was okay like i didn't fuck up on stage and i was like all right cool that's when i knew i was that's like stressful, I can, I can, I, it's stressful that's but stressful. I, that's that like that, that moment tested me for sure because like i don't think i've ever like severely blinked out on stage where it was just like like, what the <laughs> fuck am I doing? Like, yeah, that's yeah. never happened. Like, there may have been some parts where, like, I just, like, went late on a move or something when I was, like, first started dancing. But, like, nothing dynamic to where, like, I'm, like, fuck. Like, there was even one time at uh, UB where fucking um, they didn't make the window big enough and I had to travel through and I full-on tripped and fell and then I caught back up and kept going, like, as if, like, I don't know, it just fucking it's just part it was weird. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, there's been moments when, like, fucking music cuts out and you keep going or some shit, but, like, I don't know. I've never had any, like, fucking weird moments on stage, like, anything, like, super, super random. If anything, I've done a bunch of dumb shit on stage, like, bring my phone and record while I'm in the middle. I saw that. Oh, I, I do that, that shit all the time, like dude. Dude, I do that shit all the and time. You guys it's are, like, great. all frozen up. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Fucking. But then in my team in Irvine, I do it every performance. Ever since I joined the team, like, for the last, like, two and a half years, every performance, I pull out my phone. <laughs> and just fucking, I'm just like, all right, fuck it. And then I put it away and just catch back on. <laughs> what, what, uh, what, what team is it? Uh, in Irvine, it's called uh, Project Renegade. So it's just an exhibition team. Um, that one, it's pretty much like a super crew because we have people from any like team in like the urban community but like we don't take it serious we just kind of like we fuck around it's a lot of troll shit but like that's i don't know dancing on that team is like probably the most fun i've had dancing on a team in like years mm. so that's just tight um yeah yeah that's fucked up so but that one's just exhibition only. yeah that was just exhibition it's just for fun kind of thing just like doing showcases yeah and stuff showcases like uh we've we've done like maybe a couple competitions um just like small ones like we did like tet festival because we were like fuck it let's just win the money it's really easy did you guys win <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> easy dumb <laughs> we're like all right fuck it three thousand dollars let's fucking win this shit and get drunk and shit like, i'm not even gonna lie we, we've done that before before see an easy competition there's no one competing fuck it dude <laughs> <laughs> why not right yeah. <laughs> douchebag yo there's some kid he's just practicing his ass off trying to be the fucking one day win his first competition and you guys well, just show not, up and just shit one. on him <laughs> <laughs> to try again <laughs> you gotta put in time before you can come out here and just start <laughs> just winning these competitions for free like. <laughs> <laughs> just you know how many times I went to a competition thinking like oh yeah I got this and then like fucking like a big team like a through. big team or like a fucking dope ass like b-boyers and I'm like oh there's no fucking point in the this shit now like, <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna get second and I'm just like, <gasps> like hey if second place has a fucking cash prize <laughs> but like a choreo second place never gets cash prize yeah really <laughs> just, a fucking, do you like, guys get a trophy smaller trophy on, like, it's, it's just a tease it's just like oh you <laughs> almost got it I hate it. the two I just yeah, hate looking just... at a two when I like have a plaque <laughs> and it has a fucking two on it I'm like yeah. ugh it's ugly. There was only one time where I won second place at, like, something, and it was, like, a solo competition for, like, choreographers. Mm. And, like, they gave, like, first and second place, like, hella goodie bags and shit. And I was like, that's tight. I'll accept that. Mm. But any other time, it's, like, nothing. 
So I'm like, ah, okay. <laughs> With the small ass trophy. Yeah. I guess there, I, I've been in competitions where we got like a fucking a medal. Oh yeah. And and it didn't have any context. It doesn't say first or second. So it's, it's like you could just fucking just fucking lie. <laughs> like, oh yeah. <laughs> That's right. A one, you know, one today. You got like fucking last. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like a, it's kind of like running mar- like running, you know, yeah, like yeah, marathons yeah. and shit. Everyone gets a medal, yes. but yeah. but I I don't know. I feel like to does first place get a different i feel like they do right they get a trophy and like a a better medal i guess i just want to go somewhere and like they need to just give you like a fucking wwe belt Uh, oh that shit sounds tight winning a belt yeah winning a belt like like, that's hard i looked it up Uh, there's like a few jams that have belts and i want to win only a few like that's tight you know uh Mm -hmm. my homie d menace from from texas he won one of the jams i always Mm -hmm. wanted to win it's called raw texas horse and Uh, he won a belt dude that's fucking i went i like i met him last year and i stayed at his house me and Q when we were yeah. like on that road trip right and I looked and he had a belt there and I was like oh you fucking did boxing he goes nah that's from a jam raw text I was like shut up you won that <laughs> shit I was like oh I'm dude, fucking fuck jealous yeah, bro dude. that shit's hard yeah lucky bitch <laughs> <laughs> shout out to, to D-Menace though that, that, love that guy lucky ass <laughs> yeah then I'm you know BC1 BC1 has the belt oh, you yeah. know you win a belt in BC1 what else what else do you win a belt in there's a raw text word in BC1 there's like a couple other jams that which one? UBL. Oh, UBL. Oh, yeah. you breaking link. Oh, for the, for the college. Is that the college one? Oh. Just the. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. UBL something else. Yeah. Something like I guess you went a belt for that one. I don't know. I gotta look that up. But still, that's fucking sick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know how they would do that in choreo though, because if it's a whole team. That means you guys. Uh, oh, you, you only guys, get one trophy if you do one too, so it's like fucking. You, what, you guys get one belt. belt. Oh, okay, it. a belt for the whole team. Yeah, okay, that may that's still cool. That's cool. Yeah, because then you guys yeah. can all take pictures yeah, you wearing still take it. Pictures with it. Yeah, like you're the director, you keep it. <laughs> <laughs> Scumbag! You hear all the? You hear this CF? You hear this CF? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> nah, we see if we, we, they they donate it back. So like when they do like tabling to try to get for auditions, they like display it. So it's like you don't keep it. You may hold on to it for a little while but who says, keeps but it then ucr it, keeps it no uh it's just whoever the directors are for the season we give mm. them a box of just shit that belongs to the team so they just carry oh, it and, and the hold director it the carries and all and they the pass it on to whoever's shit. next like next year like the speaker and all that stuff like that uh, yeah. I mean, so, I still so right whoever now. is the di- director yeah carries yeah all the trophies like, from all the years yeah i mean cf doesn't have that many trophies so it's like uh, <laughs> no diss has, no diss has, you know it's just nine has <clears throat> trophies but like you just take them apart and like sometimes you'll let people keep them but like usually uh at least like the bigger ones they'll keep those ones um, and it just and gets just passed on put it in a box the and they just have like a storage and then they just oh uh, yeah, that's so. pretty sick actually that would be dope to do with breaking but yeah. for like a crew Oh yeah, so like if you have dope. crew, on, if you have crew, yeah. crew, comp- crew events that you guys want together, yeah, you just then you just pass it on like to the next generation. It kind of feels like, because then it really feels like you're inheriting something. Yeah, or you, like, set, or you set up something that's like a room, like a like you know how like people have like those trophy case type mm-hmm. like shits where it's like yeah. you go in and it's like a gallery of like different events and stuff, so you could like see everything. Like yeah. if you have a place where everyone can just put it all there and have it like set up, that'd be tight. That would be sick. Yeah. But that sounds like you know you gotta. That actually, sounds like a lot of work. Yeah, you gotta actually. I mean, you could you could building. Or a fucking like a storage unit, like they're like, they're not that expensive per se. I think certain ones it's only like I don't know, like a couple bucks a month or something like that. Really? Yeah. And then just have and your then fucking you just have storage there? and you just have shit in there. Um, because I know like oh, fuck, I forgot what it's. I don't know if it's like U-Haul, but they have like their storage units that are pretty cheap. Mm. Um, you can just set it up. You can make it look nice in there and just bam, it's just a little garage with everything that's in there. All your trophies and, and shit. Spot. Yeah, pretty cool. That'd be pretty sick. And then you, I guess, each year you what you pass the keys down. Yeah, I pass the keys, or you just kind of just fucking just go visit with everyone, and you just know, like, if somebody's in your crew, whoever the leader is, holds on to the keys, or if you have multiple keys, um, or even, I don't even know. Yeah, it's hard to say. See, we're trying so. to plan this out right now. We're trying to figure it out. Yeah. So this this will become a thing. Fuck so yeah! If it does become a thing, you heard it here. Pop first. up. You already know. All Scott right, Nation biters, Vault coming stop, soon. Stop biting and shit. Our, our ideas, motherfuckers. Get your pen, your notepads out right now. Writing this shit down. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of biters, let's talk about Scad Nation. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, everyone is doing it now. It's fucking call out. No Anybody one knows who wasn't about it. Where Scad it came Nation, from. we out here. <laughs> this shit's like ten years deep. You <laughs> yeah, guys, right. there's levels of the shit. You know. You remember when we first started that shit though? Like it was just. 
First, I don't know, shit. Right? There's a culture behind it. Community. <laughs> this is this is a lifestyle. You know, it's either you're about it, or you're not about it. It's just as big as hip hop. If you ain't with that scad shit, then you just, yeah, that's right. You gotta get the fuck out, on, bro. We don't, you know, you don't know about therapy. You know, you can, you can, you can. And if you're you, sitting you here wondering heal. what scad is, then that's that's who you're who we're talking to. Exactly. Do your research. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> learn your history, yo. Fuck yeah. <laughs> He's going to learn your history. Shout out to Scat OGs, Dude, do Earthquake. You, do you remember? <laughs> you see how, uh, earthquake, earthquake bangs rapping. that shit crazy, yo. <laughs> yeah, earthquake no. loves Scat. So. <laughs> Dude, do you remember that page I had though? Oh yeah, dude, I looked through it the other day, and oh, it was really? like Sterling was the last one to post on it. And he what posted it. It was like a video of us in uh, your uh, your grandma's gar- was it your grandma's garage? It was someone's garage. I think I don't know. It was either that garage or Woody's garage. He filmed some shit, and it was like, I think it was like me, you, Rob, fucking uh, oh, Melvin, Melvin, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, and that, was in, that was really, my really grandma's really garage. Yeah, okay, yeah, we shot, I remember because there's that fucking was it like that centipede or some shit? That, dude, that shit was crazy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, like, um, I lived in the fucking middle of nowhere. Yeah, dude, that shit was that shit was crazy. Now I remember looking through the page and I just saw like promo because you know how fucking Sterling was. Yeah, I know. He was <laughs> He's the only one on that posted shit. on there. Hey, check out this video. Yeah, fucking. But I remember that page got a little got started getting a little crazy because. <laughs> you remember there was people that were actually like scared like, yeah like I, I genuinely want to know like is this a thing I'm yeah like, <laughs> and then they got mad there was one guy that got mad because he was like i thought this was a page for scad people but really you guys are just making fun of scad people <laughs> you remember that yeah did. damn <laughs> yeah he got he got heated yeah, he and then there was that like like i don't know uh transgender person oh yeah dude that's that when we were like posting, y'all started posting naked pictures on there yeah, that Remember was terrible that? that's when we got to make the group like yeah had to make like, it yeah, private you have to ask to join because yeah. those random ass people were fucking were crazy random dude. ass people just uh-uh. joining and just posting dick pics yeah <laughs> that was wild <laughs> and they were like really scared too they, they were, were like, like yo this is my life and i'm like oh, <laughs> fuck <laughs> yeah they would just post their dick like i was like yo what's going on on this page this is too wild yeah man and we made shirts it's and okay, everyone had shirts still there. those shirts legendary yeah man i'm gonna frame that shit i'm gonna make it i'm gonna make some more i can still yeah. make it because i still two. know the framework it's not even that hard yeah. you know? no most definitely yeah, yeah. just like bring it back bring back the scat movement dog like, put it out there you already know 2021 once all this shit is over with fucking scad nation coming through oh yeah we're coming back we're jams coming back. you we're already throwing know throwing a jam a scad jam yep scad nations rise <laughs> <laughs> be ready <laughs> yeah that's taking just everything good. call on everyone no one's safe mm. scad nation all day yeah you already know baby <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude but, but um yeah, man, it's crazy how much time passes and all the shit that, like, you forget that happened. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, damn, I forgot. I already, I already forgot about shit from college, f- shit from BDU and college. <laughs> Not let alone <laughs> fucking high school BDU, oh, Jesus Christ, dude. which we were talking about earlier when the performance with Gio <laughs> and I fucking, we performed at high school. Let's tell the story. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we were all, I was still learning how to break. I think I was breaking for like a year by then, two years. I had started a breaking club at King and Gio was in it. Uh, everyone, pretty yeah. much all, our whole all friends all OGs, group, like yeah. all and all of BDU was in it. it was a spot that, like, you were in it. You know, this is where I guess one of the first times you start getting into like dancing, or at least that kind of dancing. And we all made a routine. And the thing is about this performance <laughs> <laughs> is it was like a special thing for King. For, it was the King's like hundred yeah, years or something like that, right? I don't fucking know. Dude. It was like I just fifty know we years. Had a big ass rally or it was a. It was the like... biggest rally, one of the biggest rallies for King, and they had like. It was like a bunch of shit. I think it was a hundred years or something like that. It was a I long time, was years. fifty years or some shit like that. Like know. King had been around for a while, or twenty five years, something like something, that. Something, something, some like kind that. of anniversary. So they made it extra special, and they asked us to perform there, our breaking club, and we performed <laughs> in front of the entire school. <laughs> and, and no lie, it was all one period. Usually they did they split the pep rallies up into two different periods, right? Yeah, they, this one was just they a had two pep rallies. Rally. They split half the school. This one they had the entire school there. Yeah, dude. So in front of the whole school, <laughs> we performed this awful choreo. It was really bad. We sucked. We, uh, you yeah. know, we weren't that good. Had some shitty beatboxers give us the <laughs> longest intro ever. <laughs> and we had the beatboxing homies, get, and they they like beatbox for like 
an hour. <laughs> <laughs> and then we do the routine. It was bad. And then at one point, my boy Gio is standing there uh, with his legs open. I'm supposed to slide through and, and pop open up into a freeze from under him. I slide under him <laughs> and I pop him into a freeze. But we did it on this, this grass. And it was turf. turf, astro turf. Yeah, like for football. And I got stuck on the grass. I didn't make it all the way through. I didn't slide. I got stuck <laughs> from the friction. <laughs> and I, try, I still try to hit my freeze because I didn't want to mess up the routine. But I was still under Geo. I didn't make it through. <laughs> and I just kicked him with all my force, all my weight, straight into his ball sack. <laughs> <laughs> and the video's on YouTube. You can look it up. Yeah, you like, put a clip in there. And just be I, here. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I'll, I'll right, right, the right there. You know, let's, watch, let's watch the clip real quick. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Gio getting hit by it in his nuts. <laughs> nope, shout out Gio. Yeah, shout out to Gio, though. My boy Gio. I got mad love for him, too. And then and then what's funny after that is, like, he's dying. And I, I like, I look back at him. <laughs> I look back and I see him. But instead of, I, I didn't care. I was like, yo, we got to just finish this performance. <laughs> <laughs> so then I continue breaking. I finished the whole routine and this dude just dies in the background and you can see him the whole video. It was, it was like one of the funniest <laughs> funniest things that ever happened. Never lived that down. Nah, it, it was funny because we were in we were in high school and people from the local college knew about <laughs> yeah, they, they knew about Gio getting kicked in his balls. Like they knew about it. It was going all the way to the community college. <laughs> like people were sharing comedy. the video. <laughs> see if if social media was as popular as it is now, if that thing I think oh, that would have went viral, yo. Yeah, that would have viral. It was funny. Oh, it it's got not shared. too late. We can make it go viral. We now. can still make it go viral. <laughs> yeah, there's some stuff that's old that I see going viral now. I'm like, damn, I saw that a yeah, long dude. time ago. Like, oh, fucking, uh, it's like that one. <laughs> I'll never forget. I made a video <laughs> a long time ago, and it was Gravity. <laughs> oh, that went viral. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> when, when you fucking punched that guy, and I dubbed Falcon Punch over it. <laughs> 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 and it went viral. That he got, got mad. Like Twelve thousand views, and then like he commented, he was like, "Yo, take this shit down." And I was like, down, and I was like, "I'm gonna take it down." <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Gravity got mad. Yeah. I was Damn. like, "Oh fuck!" I was like, "I just thought it was funny." That, that sounds funny though. <laughs> <laughs> it was a pretty good dub. You know <laughs> I got a damn. I wish you did. You, so you still have it, or you delete it? I don't have it anymore. It was on like hella yeah, old. Like, I think YouTube it, took it down because they were like it, it got private. reported it got or something. Yeah, it shit. got flagged. So I put it on private, and then uh, they deleted it. And I was like, "Damn, dude." But I don't know. I'm pretty sure I could. I'm, sh- I'm sure the video of like the battle is like still there. That where, where he fucking. You, how did you find that? How did you even find that video? I remember seeing it on like fucking stance or some shit, and they like fucking like. Now you mean it. Strife TV? Or, stri- yeah, stri- back, stri- back in the back day. Then, yeah. yeah. So like they posted like a clip, and then like people were talking about how like controversy with it, and I was like, oh shit, and then fucking I was like, yo, I'm gonna watch this whole battle because I wanted to see what the fuck happened because I was like, damn, that's wild, and then I was like, yo, I'm gonna just fucking take this and <laughs> yeah, if you do that you can still do that that's like a thing now too people oh, are yeah. famous off of just doing shit like that dubbing over f- oh yeah dude stuff, like on that like tiktok and, and vines all yeah, that shit and people dude. like fail like shit's crazy like it's it's that kind of like shock culture that like people use to like blow up but mm-hmm. yeah, yeah you could just make your own memes yeah. and make shit and just, just blow up off that shit yeah that's just wild that's kind of how it is nowadays you know yeah. yeah sell your soul to tiktok <laughs> I yeah and tiktok is like the new thing now right yeah dude it's just it's, it's, it's vine part two but like it's is it really like vine though because like, it's more like oh it's more like dubs like you dubbing over stuff it's like more like lip syncing vine was just like tiktok came from like fucking um lyrically which is like a singing app or some shit yeah and then like right. it just turned into a video thing and now people just do whatever so they just pretty much made it into like short videos so like i'll see people that do like fucking cooking tutorials there's like dancers on there and then there's just people doing memes and then there's other people that are doing like random oh, so shit. it's kind of transforming now because like a few yeah. years ago when Before i looked into very, tiktok it was, it was just marketed to just like musically music yeah and yeah that's like what that. it was but now it's like it's more than everything and that's why it's kind of like blowing up because people are able to do that but there's a limit time limit to how long um it kind of depends most people do short videos but like people can do like i think like up to a minute or something you can like edit it it has it has a lot of functionality i did fuck with it for a little bit because i was like ah let me see what it is yeah after a while i was like i don't have the time and effort to do this yeah i I feel like managing social media is already like too much like i got instagram i got facebook and i got youtube 
yeah. and that's already too much. Yeah, it feels like lot, it feels dude. like a lot already. You know, I don't even have Twitter, and everyone talks about Twitter. Like you mm-hmm. need Twitter. I'm like, fuck, I don't got time for that fuck shit. Fuck that, dude. Twitter's the most pointless one. But all the people do is just talk shit about each other, but don't add each other. So it's like subliminal bullshit. And then people like, it's. I had a Twitter for a little bit. And then I was like, man, this is just and then people, toxic. Yeah. People just talk shit all day or complain and like say fucking the most like scandalous shit. I'm like, if mm. you're into that kind of like controversy, then totally get a Twitter. Cause, Drama like, you and can, shit. You nah, can just read into I'm it, cool. But I don't that shit. Fuck that, dude. I'm good. Uh, like, yeah. there's that. And then what's, then now there's TikTok. There's yeah, TikTok. Dude. And yeah. No, that's I mean, crazy. It's just too much. I mean, but the thing is, it's like, everyone's going to be like, you should do it. Get on the curb before it's too late. Uh, yeah. It's like, it's kind of like, I guess, if you would have started doing YouTube early. Yeah. And you, you would have you know been on it a long time ago you would have had a following already by the time that. youtube became what it is now mm. you know but it's like you should get on it before it's too late right yeah but at no, the I get same that. time it's like too much already I'm like i'm fucking yeah i think i'm good i'll, I'll just yeah. focus on the shit i'm doing right now it's like there's other ways to do it you know you don't have to like i don't know for me i feel like it's like a cop out if you just want to like ride the wave of like everyone else kind of thing i don't know like mm. not saying that it's a bad idea because people can totally do it but like I don't know. If I just made a TikTok and just started doing these like lame ass dances, I feel like I'd sold out. Yeah. <laughs> I was fucking, <laughs> I don't want to do this. It's I'm funny just... because I've seen B boys doing TikTok and some of them are like some of the hardest dudes I've seen in the mm. battle in the cypher, right? They do some crazy shit. And they're, like, mm. they're like, they're tough. And then in the TikTok, they're like all yeah. like, you know, doing fucking fruity and happy shit, yeah. and just like. I mean, I've seen some breaking TikToks that are actually kind of tight though. Like, there's like this thing. It's like a trend or a hashtag or whatever. And like, it'll be like, yo, it's like a, it's like a battle, right? So there's this feature on TikTok where you can like, um, you feature someone, so it's your video and their video side by side. And mm-hmm. then like the person's like, yo, I'm gonna throw around, boom, and then he stands up and he's waiting and it's acting like he's watching, like and, and like in battle. And mm-hmm. then the other person goes, so it looks like you throw around and you exchange with each other and i was like that's kind of cool because it just looks like you're battling just yeah like but that's there. just regular breaking but, like, but I'm, just regular I'm talking shit, about like, like b-boys that, like, fucking... that are getting into tiktok and they're not breaking they're just doing Dude, the lip fucking... syncing thing uh, yeah. and it's just weird to me because i always thought i'm like oh that feels hard and then i watched their shit <laughs> i watched their tiktok and i'm like oh dang he's soft <laughs> like, it's just weird you know it changes your image of them not to say that like i mean you have to be a hard person <laughs> all the Brian. time but it's just like it's strange you know Brian just said, uh, "I hate you both." <laughs> <laughs> just a, oh, yeah, shout let's, out Brian. let's talk about Brian real quick. Let's talk. <laughs> good old Brian. Do you remember how Brian used to look in high school? Oh, man, Dude. I used to look terrible in high school. No, but do you remember Brian, Brian though? Yeah. Brian had a glow up. Like, yeah. but I, saw, I knew <laughs> Brian before we started breaking, dude. When we were skating, and I yeah, used to call him. Was... I used to call him Sweaty Neck because <laughs> <laughs> he would be skating and his neck would just be so. <laughs> 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 no, I remember seeing him around school all the time, and he didn't break yet. And it's funny because, like I was saying earlier, like you don't know who's gonna yeah, fall in love with it and shit, get man. into it. Like, dude, he changed. Breaking changed his I life so much, bro. Yeah. Like, he started hanging out with James, started hanging out with us, yeah. you know. And then Fucking James, dude, yeah, the miss my boy James. Yeah, shout out to James too, super L Bisto heart. But yeah, like. And, and I just saw like how much confidence Brian started getting because yeah. before I didn't think like when I when I was around him I could tell he wasn't a very confident yeah, guy sure. in the beginning he was a quiet chill kind of nerdy guy he's still nerdy but oh, it's yeah. like you embrace your nerdiness but then you also do cool shit like, yeah yeah oh, exactly like that fool can dance nerd, now but I'm tight as fuck <laughs> yeah he, he got he's he's like he has swag now you know what I mean yeah. the fool can dance and break and he knows. He, I don't know. He goes clubbing. I don't he know. Something about him. He got bitches. He got bitches now. Like, not just kidding. <laughs> and I mean, like, bitches in the respectful manner, not in the disrespectful way for everyone not that's in watching. Not disrespectful. <laughs> 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 uh, we're going to get a lot of hate mail now. <laughs> Fuck 12. <laughs> They're going to start talking. She's like, you are disrespectful to women and you guys are anti feminist. <laughs> just kidding. You're going to hate on us right now. So you gotta. Well, that's that's like the the times, bro. You gotta this whole movement, this whole time right now. We gotta be careful in everything you yeah. say, and it's like, it's like it's like weird though because there's people that you know joke around, always joked around, and it's like okay, it's, it's something. Sometimes it's a it's funny and it's a joke, and then there's people that you know 
They fucking mean that shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but the thing <laughs> is, yeah, it's like, people don't know the difference right now. It's like everyone's getting accused of everything, you know? Yeah, no, that's crazy. You can't tell jokes. It's a sensitive time. Yeah, you tell a joke. Not the right time. It, yeah, you tell a joke and you're going to get attacked. Fucked up. Like, yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's, you can't even wild. joke anymore, even if you're just that kind of person, you know? Like, yeah. there's no such thing right now, you mm-hmm. know? It's a very interesting time bro I mean, we're like yeah wearing fucking surgical masks and <laughs> yeah, you know we're going through this whole pandemic and also a civil rights movement yeah, like a second civil crazy. rights movement and also a great depression because of the economy is going through some shit right now you know isn't that strange Something about the 20s you know <laughs> yeah but it's just it's crazy because we 20s, 20s. went through this in america before but it was spread out it wasn't yeah. all this is one that year this like, is all bam. one year you know yeah, like yeah. we experienced those are three crises that happened in american history that we're experiencing yeah. in one year yeah. you know what i mean like that's i don't know that's pretty crazy to me you it's know it's wild like it's crazy thinking that like while you hear like fucking history books and all that shit mm-hmm. literally being written like right now like, yeah, yeah that's like, true yeah it's crazy because like there's so much pictures and all this stuff that's being painted or like all this other shit that's going on and it's like people are gonna learn about like what we're living in and like that's trippy to me because like in history classes i was like oh this is like so there are some parts that i'm like yeah, this is cool there's other parts i'm like this is fucking whack but like when they have to study 2020 the future like yeah woo, yeah there's gonna shit. be a lot like, in 2020 God, this one year alone on. but thing is it's like a lot of those things we read about in history classes it's not in one year. Yeah. It'll be like this movement lasted yeah. for this, this many long years. And then yeah. something else so happens. So the thing but... is, this might be the first year of yeah. something bigger. Yeah, dude. You get what I'm saying? Like, this is the biggest crisis. And I saw these numbers, uh, I think yesterday, that was comparing, like, casualties and, like, fucking, like, World War Two, all these other, like, crazy events and all that shit. And, like... The amount of casualties from COVID is way larger than that shit. Really? It's like hell worldwide, like like you know, just just in the United States, oh, U.S. lives, yeah, and world worldwide probably even even bigger yeah, yeah, too. Yeah. But like, it's crazy because like, it's like I think World War Two was at like fifty thousand to like eighty thousand, and we're already like hundred and something like thousand like deaths like from the shit, and then it's in the U.S. alone. So it's like that's crazy, like. Yeah, it's barely even, and it's and we just haven't had a peak, so like shit's getting worse. You know, well, we had like, another peak. Yeah, it's peaking right now again because of like all the because of reopening, reopening, and, and all that stuff. It's, like, it's, yeah, people, people are saying like, oh, it's the protests, and I'm like, nah, because like everything reopened the same day protests were happening. A lot of these protesters are all wearing masks and doing what they're supposed to do. But like me working in a restaurant, I see hell of people that come in here without a mask like daily. Yeah, so it's like I think it's just the reopening thing. We shouldn't have reopened at all. Um, yeah. It just kind of sucks, but mm, it's crazy because, because you know, it kind of feels. Because I work at I work at Venice, you know, I do yeah. shows. Yeah, it feels like yeah, it's open. Yeah, people are just <laughs> it feels like it's open again. Like yeah. people are walking around. There's mad groups of people. I mean, yeah. it's still I can still feel the like difference. Distance, but like because when we do shows, usually you know we make good money doing shows, and right lately it's been so slow and it's yeah. been a struggle, and I feel like that's a direct result of the virus of COVID. Yeah. There's less people coming to the beach, but there's still a lot of people at the beach, and a lot of them, or almost all of them, are not wearing masks. Yeah. They're not wearing gloves. They're not keeping social distance. Everyone just crowded together. Yeah. It's just it seems like it's just back to normal, yeah. at least in those parts of California, because it it'll be like a dramatic difference from Cali from L.A. to Riverside. Yeah, I'm in L.A. and it feels like everything's normal, and then I'll go back to Riverside and. I can't even go into the gas station without a mask. Yeah, dude, you know it's, I mean? it's it's crazy, but yeah. I don't know. Just people need to just be smart, be cautious, and pull through for like the little time or that we have to, and then once things go back to normal, that, have that's it. but like it's just yeah. I saw that in an interview too. Someone had said that it might have been better, or it would have been better if we had just did a really really strict yeah, just right at the beginning. short lockdown. It could have been sh- uh, sh- more been strict short. and short if we just did like a. Yeah. What do you say, like a one week or two week lockdown? Yeah, but strict, like yeah. no going out at all even for two awesome. weeks. Even, even like more strict. than that, you know. Like I feel like the virus. if they would have just did like a strict like month mm-hmm. of just like like we've been on lockdown for since what like beginning of March. It's mm-hmm. already almost July. Like mm-hmm. it's that's already like four months. If we would have just taken one of those months and just everyone like, just like strict. Yo, post I mean, up, strict stay inside, super strict. Don't like, don't get your groceries. Like they'll have a service yeah. that delivers it mm-hmm. to you or something like that. Mm-hmm. And only specific people are going to be out there. And like it would like the shit would be gone. Or yeah. like, at least the numbers would be strictly like a lot lower. Yeah. Um, 
But yeah, no, it's just people are so prideful and they're like, I want to go outside. You can't tell me that I can't work. Yeah, that's what it is. It's like, what the fuck? Like, bro, you're getting paid to stay home. Just relax. Like, (laughs) American entitlement, yo. We're American. We're entitled to our rights. And we feel like it really shows in times when when the government wants things to be a certain way. And I, I understand it ish because we don't want to be we don't want to ever be controlled yeah. and we don't want to feel too controlled but it's like okay let's let's go along with it for now yeah and then if fucking a few months later the shit is still going on then it's like okay this feels like bullshit now what is our government really doing yeah because the thing is we gotta if, if a government was trying to control you they're not gonna tell you straight to your face hey we're trying to control you you know they're just gonna yeah they're, just they're gonna, gonna, gonna do it sneakily do it, and do it so the thing is I think that's what people are afraid of. You know, I think yeah. people are afraid of the government trying to control every aspect of their life. And I guess it kind of feels that way and yeah. and here's the thing, it's like it feels that way because there's maybe a vi- there's maybe a real uh threat, a virus that can actually hurt and harm American lives and people's lives. Yeah. But then people also feel like it could be bullshit and they're just using that as an excuse Use, yeah. to control you. So it's like, yeah, I can see both yeah, sides. I, I can but see that. but like we should have we should have just been strict from the beginning and then we wouldn't have to be in be this in the weird state, yeah. limbo where where we're not sure if it's true or not from the beginning. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah, because I, I don't think it's too late either. Like, if we just shut down for one month, like yeah, no, fine. I read, I, I like listened to someone talk about it, and they said that if we did that, it could really kill like yeah, like virus, legit, you would know where it is because it would be contained to the hospitals. The people that are asymptomatic, it would go away within the two weeks that they stay home, mm-hmm. um, or whatever, three weeks and all that stuff. And then from there, you could continue to move forward. You limit the contact of people that you're around because you're only around your family or by yourself for the mm-hmm. most part. Kind of sucks, but like. Just push through, you know? I just feel like that kind of thing. I mean, this this thing right now, like what happens? So say we did do all that. When are we going to be able to travel to other countries? When, are, when is international travel going to happen? To be, again, you know? It has to be something that, like, one, they, they got to find a vaccine or something like that to make sure that it's completely, like, not worried about, like, you're never going to fully get rid of all diseases and stuff like that. But if you find something that can, like, take, like, care of it, like, I, I read something that they found, like, there's this type of, like, steroids that actually is very effective against, like, COVID. And they're like, oh, okay, for sure. Like, that's dope. It helps people get over it because it, it, COVID isn't a deadly disease. It's like It's like a flu, you know? it's 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 something that like only a small percentage like get fucked up but because mm-hmm. so many people are getting it that it's like that's why they're fucking getting fucked up but it's it, not something that like it's more deadly than the flu though i think yeah it's, it's like, more deadly it's like, than it's the like flu but like it's, it's, it's like still that. it's not like you have fucking cancer if you get covid yeah like, it's, or, it's, it's or not AIDS like that or, kind or of or shit Ebola. Yeah, yeah, like, people are making like a death sentence, people make it yeah. seem it's like oh the moment you catch it like you're fucked like your life is over and i'm like it's not that serious a disease we can contain it even if we don't contain it if we figure something out to like cure it and help like stabilize it you know like then like normal things can like happen again um but again, it's hard to see what's going on with all that. Um, I don't know. It's 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 a lot to process. It's crazy, crazy. I, <laughs> dude, I, we're living in crazy. Honestly, times. dude, like sometimes I step away because I'm like I just don't want to listen. No, to it I right feel now. like it's I, it's draining emotionally yeah. because like you have pandemic shit. You're scared for your health. You've got fucking civil rights shit. Yeah, I'm scared to go outside bullshit, because there's yeah. fucking people and they're gonna like judge me on my skin color or whatever. And fucking you've got like there's there's just the so financial much shit crisis. Going on. You financial know, like, crisis. You gotta figure you gotta, out your money it's, situation. It's, you don't know how things are going to be yeah but this this is going to affect affect a a lot of us especially uh younger people like like us that are trying to start families trying to get houses trying to get our own businesses like we're in that process right now this is going to affect us for the next few years yeah you know we're the ones that are inheriting the you know like the the, the, the struggle yeah we're inheriting everything all the people that are older already have their shit established so even through this crisis they're still gonna have their fucking house. Yeah. They're still gonna have their property. Yeah. They're still gonna have their fucking four hundred one k and their yeah, retirement all money and all that shit. We're the ones who are gonna be like, like hit oh by shit, this shit because we're not working, in, we're supposed to be getting all this. Yeah. 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 It's it's I know what you mean. I did the, I did the same thing because I just got tired of like all the controversy online yeah. and it's just not, and it's like. It's one thing when it's just normal civilian life, but then it started trickling into even the dance community yeah, even dude. into the breaking community so it's like dang like no matter where you turn and look you can't avoid 
all this drama and and energy that's going around right now yeah and it's like not to say that i don't support the movements you know and the for the right thing yeah but at the same time it's not something you want to think about 24 7 yeah no most definitely. you know even if especially if you're going through some shit already you know like if you're yeah. someone that's homeless someone that's dealing with death yeah someone that passed so away in your life shit, you know like and then you got all this shit going on you're just like yo fuck this is too much let me just yeah. take a break you know what i mean i feel that also I, I at least i know like i've been trying to make sure that i have like my self-care days kind of things like where i do stuff that i want to do or i find new hobbies like lately for me since i'm like yo i can't be doing events and shit like that like i picked up some programs got some equipment and i've been producing music and learning how to make beats and all that kind of shit so it's like dabbling in other things because i'm like yo I, I have a genuine love for like music and stuff because obviously like i dance so like figuring out how to make that shit too is hella dope um just finding the little things that like make you happy or like the stuff that you can do despite like the shitty situations that are going on around you so mm. um and then yeah just bringing positive energy wherever you go um that's something that a uh, fucking uh, stampede uh, d david said uh when we were at the protest last uh, friday i think mm. um I was like, yeah, you're just here to spread positive energy. Like, there's so much crazy shit going on in the yeah. world, but like, we can do this the right way and be positive about it. And like, that you like, you don't want to, like, there's already so much negative shit. You don't want to add another negative thing to it. You know, it's like just yeah. add that positive. It spreads, and then thing, good things will come from it. You know, it's like law of attraction. So, yeah, yeah, yeah that's, no, that's the, true. That's the he's, he's he's true. But he's right about that. You know, I I believe that completely. You know, yeah. I mean, if at, at the end of the day, and it sounds corny and cheesy. But at the end of the day, the real thing that the world really needs is yeah. we need to just love each other. Like everyone oh, needs to just definitely. have mad love for each other and just respect one another. Like if the world, there was more love in the world, less hate, then there would be less problems. Feel it. It's easy to say yeah. it. It's that's a hard crazy. thing to do, but yeah. it's it's no, really that's, that's what it comes down Feel to it. because, you know, that's the most positive thing you can do to someone is love them. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's ironic because the last uh, performance I did with CF, a part of their organization and all that stuff, um, was a set that I created and the theme and the concept was love and mm. it's most like not like a romantic idea but it, it's most like objective sense like the idea of love the feeling of love knowing that like you know I love dancing or like I love being around my friends I love my family kind of thing um, just that feeling when you're like man like I like I really like love this shit or like I just mm. feel that like connection love in different it. different uh, yeah. avenues different relationships of and love, being right? able to pull that out in different moments like oh man that was crazy we did our opener to like a spoken word piece and and fucking we went into some other songs that were just kind of like it was a little bit of a roller coaster and that shit was this shit was crazy and like i don't think i've ever like fully cried in the middle of a performance while dancing except for like that one moment because i had like my kind of little like farewell moment because mine like with this set for me at least it was about like my love for this organization and everything that it did for me you know like um like i wouldn't i would have never thought that i would have gotten to the point i am joining that team when i first joined it you know so it's like it was like that was my love for that and i wanted other people to spread love or feel the kind of love that we shared here just know that like everybody has that it just may be somewhere else kind of thing mm. and um it was crazy because i got to talk to a lot of the judges that time and like honestly i didn't think we were gonna do that well but we did pretty well and i was like oh shit <laughs> <laughs> i was like all right here we go um because i was just stressing but um uh, fucking talking to the judges about it and see, hearing how like like well thought out that it was and like how it made sense and people understood like that meant a lot you know and it's just like talking about love and then seeing the pandemic go on and then all this other shit it just makes that set so much more relevant to this year and it sucks that we were only able to perform at one time but like man that shit was crazy like it was a meaningful meaningful performance for sure so yeah, <sighs> yeah man that's fucking dope that's, that's fucking it's good to have the like we were said earlier like those kind of moments and those yeah. kind of feelings like I don't know they're just t they're just things that you just wish you could live over and over again oh yeah like, this is the the moment and the feeling of it was so pure and beautiful you know yeah I, mean, I, I could think of a few times man where it's just like I was just there in the moment and I'm like damn i can't believe i'm actually here or right, this yeah. is real and things that you dreamed about you might have dream dreamed about when you first started you know like there's so many yeah, things dude. that i've done now that I, i'm like fuck dude i didn't yeah. think i was gonna do that shit when like, i was a kid i, I uh, like when we were young we said like 
wish like yeah i want to know what that feels like it was I like i shared like. the same stage with like fucking royal family from new zealand who's one fucking hip-hop internet like cat like it's it's crazy thinking that like just like you walk by and like you got fucking um all these like fucking famous like chinese or like foreign japanese dance teams that are just right there and they're just fucking like like these are these like oh, man it's it's crazy being mm-hmm. able to say that like you've done these things and it's like when people mention it, they're like, yeah, I want to do this. And then, like, they talk about it. Like, it's so far off. And then you sit there and you're like, damn, I was the same way. You're in the same it's like, shoes. I'm, yeah. right, I'm right next to it, you know. Yeah. Shit's crazy. So. Yeah. So, so who do you, what do you think? Let's talk more about that. What do you, who do you think is the be- the greatest team of all time? I don't know if they have I that. I don't know. In Corio, I, it's it's kind of it's kind of hard because like things change and like every year because like H I like they have like a like a ten judge panel like it is very technical like that shit is like very precise and when they do for that it's it's like a mix of genres in terms of like your performance like you have to at least do three styles um on like it's just it's tough you know like it's very hard to judge per se who's like the best every year you know like because every year it's somebody different like this last year russia won uh hi like in general so i was like damn that's pretty crazy um at least in the divisions that i was competing in Mm. so and their shit was very technical it was interesting it wasn't something that like i mean like don't get me wrong like if i have a preference like obviously in my opinion is like i like a certain style their piece it was cool was it my like cup of tea maybe not but like it was dope they were clean as shit did they deserve the win fuck yeah they did but like it's mm. just you never know it's kind of hard to say who's the best you know um especially in like choreography i feel like you can't decide that unless you just fucking battle like that's the only way it's like you throw your shit i throw my shit and like let's just keep going and find oh, another so way you're saying it's more decisive yeah. it's like, more choreo like you can decide like decide but like well, it's what, hard because it, what, like, you can use so many different styles that it's like it's like how do you judge crumping versus breaking yeah it's, it's, yeah, it's hard, right? Yeah, it's like you yeah. saw that fucking tie-dyes battle with fucking... Uh, <laughs> Lilu or Junior. Yeah, fucking, yeah. And I was yeah. like, how do you judge this? You know, it's like they're so different in styles. Like, you can go based off of hype and energy in the crowd or you can go based off of technical moves and shit like that. But or it's dynamics. Like, how do you, dang, how do you yeah. really, like, that's judge true. it because yeah. it's so different, you know? Yeah. So I feel like that's why, like, in Corio, it's very, like, you can never really say who's, who's the best team. Because, like, their style is different than this style. Maybe at this competition, they're the best here. But at the next competition, they're going to take, like, fucking second to last. Like, it's it's very really? inconsistent. Is that, like that. Is that it's, inconsistent? It's very weird. Because, like, for my company and Mega Crew, we uh, we took gold in U.S. And then, like, we went into our prelims for um, Mega Crew. And fucking, like, we, we, were, we were the first place team going in from USA. And then we didn't even make it past prelims in the fucking thing. And they, like, everyone was like, yo, they got robbed. There are teams that we beat that made it farther than us it was yeah. like that doesn't make any sense right yeah. like how so that so but, but is that is that a is that because of the way it's judged um i is, think it's a little bit of judged that by like human by human year, by this people last right? year was a little bit of controversy and shit because like they all reached out to like my director and like they had a hell ass conversation how to betterly equip you for next year because they can't reverse it because they know that they fucked up mm-hmm. but like that shouldn't happen in the first place your competition's been around for the long ass time you know yeah, yeah, yeah. so that damn really they I went out and said that yeah it's like they, they didn't make a huge public thing about it but like they pretty much i mean it was still okay because like they had their uh all female still go up and take third in the world so i was like that's still pretty tight like that our company got that far but like our mega crew should have been right there with her i mean we probably wouldn't have got super super far after that because teams were for sure stacked but like not making it past prelims i was kind of like uh, yeah. It's a little questionable, you know, especially with like some of the no shade or anything to all the other teams, but it's just like some of those teams, like we definitely like. Yeah, I think yeah. it's you know it's just at the end of the day, the, the thing that sucks about dancing, you know, it's not like fighting because dancing is like it's all in these in the judges' hands. It's all yeah. in these people, these normal human beings what their opinion yeah they're this is complete opinion yeah, it's no all com- it's opinion, opinion opinion and preference that's what it comes down to so i guess that makes sense why someone can make it to the finals at this event and then lose in the that's, prelims yeah. at another event where i feel like breaking is a little more consistent but it still happens yeah. that's why there's no one guy that yeah. can win almost everything except for victor that one yeah. year would you would you say because <laughs> like, uh, i feel like, like breaking one. a lot of times they have a lot of the same judges 
so it's mm. a little bit more but also like the way that they've been developing their system like they have like the fucking i don't know if they still use that like the hour system from like r16 yeah they haven't used that, they use that used that in a while they use more like but, a hosen yeah or, or like, like I don't a know if it's like round for round system like yeah it's like round it depends what gem some gems yeah. is just the traditional just straight, like just left right, you know yeah. that's round it for round i think is cool because then it's like all right you can kind of tell like oh yeah this person they got that round for this reason on this yeah and then like i don't know like it's interesting but like there's there's a lot of different things um I do. I remember seeing you did that break smart shit. Mm. I like that concept. That shit's tight. Mm. I, don't, I don't like if I did an open styles battle with that. I would love to do that shit yeah. too. It kind of just pop. Like it just seems so raw and like fast paced. It's like fast, you gotta bro. like you gotta be ready. It's like so just fucking fast. go. <laughs> like, Trust me, you don't have time to think. Oh yeah, but that shit's dope because it puts you on your toes. It makes you, you do natural. Like as soon as I'm and, up, I'm already like. I'm thinking, yeah. okay, I have like one second to think what I'm going to do next. And then yeah. by the time I'm done, like I even register a thought. Yeah. The other guy's already going up. I'm like, oh shit, yeah. I got to get out. Yeah, no, out it's there. crazy because like I feel like in battles, like a lot of times people are like, all right, I got sets. I'm going to fucking go yeah, out there. Nah, rounds, rounds. Nah, and sets, like you could nah. do that for like a 2 8 count thing. No, but like, it's not. Set, but it's nah. so fast paced that it's like so fast, if somebody though. throws something, how are you going to choose between your list of moves and that amount of time? Yeah. Like you have to just go there and just be like, I'm throwing the shit. Like, yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, that's the thing. Kind of like, cause I, I have combos, back. and I remember I have I have actual combos and some long combos, and it the, the the system like that that rate that speed is so fast. You don't even have time to do a power combo. Oh yeah, no. That's how fast it is. Like yeah. if you try to do windmill, head spin, baby yeah, mill, can't. back to turtle, dude. By the time you get to windmill, head spin, like it's yeah, already two eight counts. You got it. Yeah. So you just wasted. Unless it. you have some fast you, so, ass fucking windmill yeah, head spin. Yeah, <laughs> but so you got to put in. You gotta put in the most. You want your rounds to be so packed and dense, but mm-hmm. small. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Like, yeah. so how can I put in a lot it's of like shit, a, but I, in such a short amount of time? To put it into like an analogy. It's like a thesis statement in your paper, right? Mm-hmm. Like you're you're talking about what the fuck you're gonna say, but like you need that concrete. Like, yo, I think that this, and then that's your like that's your round rather mm-hmm. than doing like, oh, I think this because this, this, and this. Yeah, it's like you just need that. I think yeah, this, and yeah, then boom. That's it. Just keep it short and it's simple. Like, no, I'm I'm winning this. No, I'm winning what this. What happens <laughs> is you're gonna end up wasting time or wasting your round yeah. if you try to do a full power combo and you only get two moves off. Yeah. Then your round just looks just, like two moves. You yep, just did windmill it. and husband and that's yeah. it. And then it's just like the guy next guy goes out. Did you put enough content to impress the judges yeah. in that yeah. that two A count? Show, like, just windmill. Verse, yeah, you gotta show, show everything. You everything. So it's like, but, like still finish it like yeah. in a dynamic way. So. I think I learned that like at, at freestyle session because you know that's where the qualifier was. It was yeah. a freestyle session qualifier, and I learned it there. Like. At the at the battles, I was the last one to battle there, right? Mm. Every, I saw everyone else go up first, and I started noticing what they were doing wrong, you know? Mm. Like, my boy Touche, and shout out to Touche, and I yeah, love him and everything. Up. But he was doing full power combos, mm. and he kept going past the two A counts. Uh, yeah, because, you know, so, Touche, yeah. he, has, he has nice power, too. And he kept doing full power combos going past the two A counts. And I, I noticed see. that. I was like, okay, so no full power combos. Yeah. And I seen these other guys messing up. And, this, and I'm like, okay... These guys spent too much time top rocking and dancing. Mm. Yeah. By the time they hit the floor, the eight yeah. count was already up. You have enough time to yeah. like, oh, so, yeah, so it's like, yeah, so I'm just like, it's all about drops. That's what I learned. Yeah. I like, so you got to do nasty yeah. ass drops. Just find a dope way to get in, and a dope do your way shit, to, and just get, get out. out. That's it, you know? Yeah. So then I learned that, you know, and then when I went and practiced more before the, before the, the, the bigger one in Russia, one, yeah. I, I was, you know, I learned more about the power. Like, yeah, like I don't have time to do shit. Like I don't have time to do any power yeah. combos, so it's like I just gotta keep it short and sweet. You know, that's it. Yeah, it's a, it's an interesting concept, but it is fast, bro. Yeah, dude. Uh, I I want I want to see that shit in all styles. Like I'm I I want. How would that be? That would be tight because all styles motherfuckers go for mad long. Yeah, you could go forever in yeah. an all style event. I feel like all styles has such a longer story than a breaking, yeah. like a breaking round versus an all style round. An all style round has more of a story. Like they have yeah. a flow, and it t- start up here, yeah. and then eventually they take it down to the floor. And it's just it, you need that time. But to like, there's the sometimes when you watch like an all stars or a dancer, and they just get the fuck off. So like, they just like go in. And it's like that. I feel like if you're forced under those circumstances, like you have to just like tap into that moment right away when you're just like mm-hmm. into that like wild out moment, mm-hmm. and you find that that I don't know. It's yeah, it's hard. I I mean, it would. Be I mean, I guess it would be interesting to try it. Yeah, and to try see how it works, and if it works out. Yeah. It works I'm sure you can maybe can adapt s- it to like maybe not two eight counts, but like slightly adjust it. Uh, who knows? Four eight counts or something. Four eight counts something. Um, Dude, you yeah. should do it. <laughs> figure it out, figure it out. You heard it here first. All right, yeah. guys. You already hear Scad right, Don't be biting Scad Nation. It's the Scad system. <laughs> the Scad system. Scad system. <laughs>
Yeah, no, that would be sick. I would small actually Small combos be all day. <laughs> small combos <laughs> all day. Yo, that actually sounds dope. Small, small, system. small combos all day. Yeah, that's funny. This is the logo. <laughs> yeah, no, that, 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 that would be sick, dude. Yo, yeah, man. Fucking, even all styles, right? Like, fucking yeah, David was there with yeah. us from fucking RCC. Yeah, dude. Dude, David is a beast now, bro. Isn't it insane just to see everyone from, from BDU at RCC, BDU at King, like, and then seeing where everyone's going now. Yeah, like, dude. I dude. meeting David at fucking Patriot High School. We threw that mini jam there. Yeah, yeah, there. yeah, we did. Yeah, we, I brought him that day. I remember. Yeah. I do remember it's that. Dope, dude. And you battled that kid. You yeah. smoked him. You smoked that kid. <laughs> I'll never forget that was sad. sliding down and gagging around the yard, man. <laughs> that, was, that was funny. That was then good. I got hurt after, and then I had to let Raymond, because I, I went to him. But yeah. So, well, okay. yeah, that's true, because then, I rem- okay, I so I, I had King, King BDU, and then simultaneously, I forgot. I yeah, thought it was, I always thought it Star. was linear, but it was some. it was simultaneous while you guys were doing, I left. You guys kept King BDU yeah, going. Yeah, it was me. I kept that shit going. And then we I started RCC BDU. Yeah. And then Junior had yeah, did Patriot, Patriot BDU. So then we all kind of just... Ah. Uh, yeah, dude. Damn. That's crazy. Yeah. And then we got canceled because Ryan broke his fucking arm. Damn. <laughs> fucking Ryan. <laughs> Ryan had to break his arm oh, and man. freak out Miss... Who was it? It was Miss Chavez. Uh, Miss Chavez oh, freaked out because of that. She's dude, like, the one day we shed, she's, she's, she's like the nicest. Go, she's she's like the nicest lady too. She I'll was so worried. That shit, she was so worried. She's like, yeah, that sucks. I yo. spent the whole next day in the principal's office writing statements and. Damn. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's know, crazy, that crazy, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. <sighs> Damn. I know that if, I feel like it would have still been going on. I mean, I guess they did try to keep it going, and they have like yeah. this, their own. They have something else. Yes, going yeah, on, some kind like of other some, dance, some dance club. I don't fucking know. But it's not like BDU, it's like what yet. it was before, you know. But it's. I mean, I'm just happy that there's some kind of yeah, there's something thing going dope. on. Yeah, yeah. It's just It'd like, be dope to get in contact and like, cause like I could if they're doing choreo, I could bring a hell of people. If they're doing freestyles, like we have all the tools. Yeah, like, we do. If they were to actually do like a fucking boys dance team this year. Like, I would go you back could, and you, coach you that coach shit that and shit. win fucking everything. Yeah, like, would, bro. See, that's a, that was the problem. Yeah. We didn't have a fucking... Yeah, like, if we had a coach what was, it was, shit, What's like, her name? I forgot the our teacher's name. I forgot her name. I don't know, but the girls' dance team. The girls' dance anyways. team. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're, they're <laughs> trash. Dude. But remember, she would just leave us in the room, and yeah. we'd have to just yeah, if you had figure a coach, it out. was like, hey. <laughs> that we had no coach. We had nobody... They wanted us to pay to, like, this guy or something to teach us. I remember the first year we did it, they wanted us to pay some dude to, like, teach us combos for a little bit but it i don't know it just wasn't yeah. it didn't, you know. no it's not the same you know yeah like, it wasn't the same it's like if you had an instructor per se that literally like teaches you one about dance like in your like class and then you guys are actually working on it kind of like how you do it like at rcc where how it's split into classes like you have your dance appreciation then you have your fucking like your study classes whether it's choreography or like the other ones it's like if they were to do something like that but like a lighter version in like high school to where like you learn stuff but then you're also like like doing it for like a a competition and stuff like that like that would be dope you know you could consider mm, a natural class like yeah go into like the theory of it because that's technically what like art schools and shit like that do but it just yeah kinda depends on the high school because that's good a lot of people are like ah we're not gonna do that shit like we don't want to spend money on it yeah that's what so. that's what it really is it's just they just think about what's important what's yeah. worth spending money on actually win stuff and bring more funding to yeah, us yeah that's it's what like, it is yeah I mean, but it's not like the fucking they spend money on football. And the football yeah, team dude. hasn't won shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's, so fucking it's mad. Can use it and mad them. expensive <laughs> on a football field that doesn't even win yeah. te- anything. Like, yeah, no, nah, not I'm, I'm all hating and talking shit. But it's true though. The whole <laughs> year we're at King, we never won anything. King was man. our fucking wrestling. No, man. we had basketball for that yeah, one for time. That one time, when Kawhi was yeah, there. Yeah, but that was a lot. Kawhi Leonard. Me. Kawhi Leonard went to King. The school that we went to, and that was when King was the yeah, shit. That, that no, but that I guess no in twenty sixteen or twenty fifteen or something like that. King had King had yeah. another good basketball year. Yeah, they went basketball to, was okay. Like it's on and off. It was more consistent out of our sports, but like oh wait, no, and our girls tennis. The was girls the tennis, shit. yeah, and, then, and boys water polo. Look yeah. all the white sports. Fucking <laughs> 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 like, tennis, water polo. <laughs> Yeah, but tennis, golf. Is, tennis is more Asian though. Like yeah, they were, the Asians love that because the ones that were killing it were the Asian yeah, girls. They true. were beast. 
but like fucking like our girls soccer and all the all, I don't know I don't know we have like all the random sports it's but like, mostly you know, girls the, though shout out to yeah, the dude. shout out to the girls for holding it down for King yeah. cause I don't think we need to change the name to Queen High School shit <laughs> 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 no we weren't winning shit though the guys were not holding it down for especially when we were there I don't remember I don't remember really there was only like like people that were really teams and people that were really good at mm. King during athletically that stood out wasn't anyone in football like football had we had great athletes for sure yeah. like todd hanley yeah but the team wasn't good yeah for f- track and field though we had that oh, one yeah. guy what's his name lane or what's his name he was like a runner he uh, was he broke, I, I he broke like the king record broke hello record yeah he was like, like a beast they had individual people and stuff like that that went on to do crazy things but like you know, there's no like we didn't have any more quiz <laughs> nah it wasn't like that definitely no nah. it has it's been a while yeah. Since anything like that, but that's that's another level. That dude is tonight's on the Clippers and fuck, like in L.A. at the Clippers, and he's like trying to, he's trying to compete against LeBron. Like yeah. he's that. He's like, I don't want the light. I want to compete against. Yeah, him. So, dude, like, that's, that's, that's how that's beastie, yo. He said I could either join him or I could beat him, and he wants to beat him. Yeah, like, take it for himself. Mad yeah, respect. That, that's hard. Mad like. respect for that because a lot of people would have just joined LeBron and yeah. fucking helped him get that dub, yeah. win that championship. Cause I think them two together, bro. That would be with unfair. Anthony Davis. Would be fucking broken, dude. <laughs> dude that team uh, yeah, is just cheating. Like, it's a cheating ass team. I'm a fucking Kyrie Irving fan, so I'm like, dude, like, <laughs> nice as fuck. Like, if he goes to any of those teams, if it's Kyrie and Kawhi or Kyrie and fucking um, LeBron, like again, yeah. like, shh, yeah, it's yeah, unstoppable. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But it's okay. Whenever fucking KD's finally healed, the Nets will finally be good again. The Nets? Yeah, I'm, I like Brooklyn uh, Nets because Kyrie. I'm a Kyrie yeah, fan. Okay. So fucking, they got KD, but he was injured this whole last year. And then fucking Kyrie got hurt. And I was like, Really? Not, Have they ever been good, good, though? Yes. Are they the ones yes, that? Yes. Is, there, is there a team in New York that's never won before, though? Isn't there? Because uh, New York has that's bad the, luck. That's the Knicks. The Knicks. That's the one. Yeah, fuck okay. The and I don't like them. No, no one's nah. helping out the Knicks here. No one's gonna help them out. No one. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> what if you're the guy that goes to New York? I'm for the, the place for the fuck, Knicks. Fuck, fuck no, listen though. Oh. What, ha- what happens if you're the guy that goes to New York for the Knicks? Like fucking. And that. you win that shit like for them. You take Jeremy. them all the way. You know how fucking Isn't legendary. Win on the Knicks. <laughs> is he? Is yeah, he? I'm pretty sure he was. Uh, I don't know if he's anymore. Yeah, but he but needs like, support because he's good. But then they, like they he went there and he's his own person. But the Knicks just ain't shit. So like, yeah, no see that's the thing. You got to have a good surrounding cast, and then if you fucking do it, you go there. Yeah, like fucking quiet with the Raptors. Yeah, exactly. But. Yeah. But he was he really held it down though. Yeah, you know he what I mean? Down. Like without, he changed him, he changed he sure. fucking really went out there and you know, for Canada fuck, yeah, you know, got got fucking Drake all happy and yeah, shit. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but if I'm telling you, you'd be legendary though if you did that for yeah. the Knicks though. If you went to New York and did that, you won fucking uh, uh, you just created yeah. a winning team, you won a bunch of championships for them. Even if you only won three, like LeBron's only won three championships. Yeah, but imagine yeah. if he he won those with but, the Knicks. You know how legendary he yeah, would be. Sure. He's already a legend. But yeah. just because it's never been done before, yeah. You know what I mean? Shout out. You know, I'm just yeah. throwing it out I there feel for like any. It's like how fucking Tom Brady's bitch ass is like, I'm gonna leave the Patriots and join fucking what is he? What is he at? 49ers now. <laughs> bitch ass. <laughs> yeah, fuck Tom Brady. I fucking hate you don't that like Tom Brady? Why? Eat my dick. For the amount of times that he's <laughs> robbed any team that I've liked or my friends. Oh, uh, that's from why. Super Bowls. Dude, it's well, what about dude? What about with the Raiders, bro? We we were supposed to go to the Super Bowl that year with the whole tuck the tuck oh, rule. Yeah. You, and it's still con- yeah, I guess they're changing it now recently. And, All I gotta and, say is fuck Tom yeah. Brady. Um, <laughs> I still don't like the Patriots because you know just the trauma. But shout out Cam Newton because he's going there. I, I have a feeling like the Patriots because Cam Newton. Oh, he'll, the, he'll take them. They have a good. They, on the, Patriots on the fucking, don't have uh, on the Panthers. Like he had no one. Uh, Patriots. They're fucking. And he has Belichick. Yeah. So I was if like, Belichick's still coaching, and then they got they yeah. got a good surrounding ca- so cast. I have, feeling, I have a feeling Pat's might fuck around and take it again because Cam Newton's fucking. He's a beast. He's a, he's beast. a beast, man. So, but who's who did Tom Brady? Who did uh, Tom Brady went to the Bucks? Who did he go to? He went to the fucking 49ers, dude. Oh, he went to the Niners. Yeah. Okay. Uh, really? He went to the Niners? Yeah, dude. He, yeah. Who's there? He's just trying to make How did they do last like, year? The go and fucking like, Well, I mean if he no, does Niners did really But good. if he does it, bro, you got to fucking respect it, dog. Nah, fuck that. <laughs> 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 bro you gotta respect it i have dude. no respect for that man <laughs> ever that's, that's what i hate him <laughs> he did it he's also a racist 
<laughs> no, <is he? laughs> no, but <laughs> he's a racist. Just to me. throw that out there. <laughs> <laughs> but shout out Green Bay Packers. Oh, Sorry, yo, that's Rogers. right. That's You're team. a Packers fan. Always. Oh, that's why. Because you think Aaron Rodgers is the go over. No, I don't give over a fuck Tom about Brady. That. I just don't like bro, Tom Brady, dude. Tom Brady, well, I, I'm bro. Gonna I'm gonna be honest though. I'm gonna be real. Tom Brady is the goat no. because he's accomplished the no, most out of that. anyone in the NFL. Fuck There's teams that haven't even won as many championships as he has. I don't care. Think about Tom that. Brady. How much championships have Kirk Packers? It doesn't matter. Oh, oh, <laughs> I thought you were saying how many championships has Tom Brady won. It doesn't matter. <laughs> how many championships does Packers? Like, have? I remember uh, like six, five, six, uh, five, six. That's about right. the. We have, we, we, have, we have a decent amount. I'm pretty but, sure we're like right there with with them in terms of how many. Yeah. But he's won them recently. <laughs> yeah. Like the last time we were in the Super Bowl, like well, we have a. You guys won the. F- you guys won the first. We won the first and the second one you, um, against the Raiders. You yeah, won against us in the in second 1996 one. 1996, and uh, I don't remember the rest. I just, I it's been a while. I haven't really been following football that much lately, and it just. But, yeah, I know. When you're in it, you remember all these fucking yeah, historical facts. Fucking, <laughs> like, yeah, like, for real, like, I, I remembered remember everything. Like, I always loved football so much back yeah. then. But I don't know. Like the last couple times we've had shots, it was like, fucking. Uh, we got robbed by the fucking Patriots because they just came out of nowhere and did come back and fucking everyone decided to choke and I was like, this is bullshit. And then there was that time that Aaron Rodgers was fucking hurt and we still almost yeah, won. Yeah. He was well, who did you? Fucking, oh, fuck, that was yeah. such a good ass game, but I was so sad. Yeah, I remember that too. But yeah, man, like we're always we're Aaron Rodgers a beast though. Yeah, I'm gonna be real, like, like you guys had Brett Favre, Brett Favre, Brett Favre for the longest time. That fool is actually a racist. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. If, <laughs> I don't know if he is, but I, I wouldn't. Just, I wouldn't put he's it against him because you he know went to their fucking Vikings and like, he's, he went he to did. our rival team, bro. Like, but he had to. No, fuck that. He retired and then he came back. And by the time he came back, back, you guys but, already had Rodgers, so it's like, oh fuck it. I guess I go. You could go to any. You know why? I think he wasn't. I think he wasn't ready, but he thought he was. Yeah, you know it happened. You could have. He was old as shit, yeah, though. This, one, you shouldn't have came back. Yeah, Two, he should. <laughs> you could have went to any team, and you decided to go to that one. Like you're, you're, yeah, you're he bad. was old as shit. Like he's and old. We lit his ass up. <laughs> <laughs> Stay out of the league, bitch. <laughs> yeah, but still, Packers have maybe six or so championships, yeah. and Tom Brady has. That many alone, yeah. so just throwing it out I'm there. I'm still saying fuck Tom Brady. So Tom Brady. Brady. When I, I say know. fuck twelve, I mean fuck Tom Brady. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but isn't Aaron Rodgers number twelve? Too? No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron Rodgers, he's immune. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Aaron Rodgers is a beast, though. I'm not gonna lie; like he's a great quarterback. So is Tom Brady. No. I mean, I always, you know, give mad love to uh, Peyton Manning too. Is one of my favorite quarterbacks. And even though he played for the fucking the wrong team, and that being the Broncos, because they're <laughs> bitch ass. <laughs> but it's all good. I can forgive him because he's always been one of my favorite quarterbacks for us. But, yeah. I, I, at one point, I thought he was the best. I just want fucking Kaepernick to come back. I, like, I has, think he'll come back. He's, no, he's for sure coming. No, back. he's coming back like, now. Yeah. Um, after all this, I just want to know who's gonna pick him up. But he has to. He has to just be ready, though. Oh, he's like, been he, ready. He, like, he has know. to be if, on if his you, game. I've, you know, you've like, been, like checking be, interviews and stuff like that. He's never stopped training, training, and doing yeah. what he's been doing. Yeah. So it's like I know he's ready. He's gonna come out of nowhere, and he's he hasn't been hit in years. This fool is healthy as a motherfucker. Yeah, it's crazy. It's interesting how like. All these teams come out no now and they're just yeah, for, like, oh, we're sorry for it. You know, it's like, yeah. man, yo, I always thought it was weird just how people get mad about how he how he protested because yeah. they're like it's disrespectful. I'm like, it didn't seem disrespectful because it, it, taking a knee is is not a very disrespectful yeah. thing to do. You know, yeah. when you you take a knee and hand across your heart if you were sitting there like this like, yeah <laughs> like okay like, see then some people went mod with it some people started standing on the flag and yeah, burning I mean, it too okay bad. that's too much but he never did that and he yeah. never encouraged anyone to do it right you know what i'm saying it's, it's like uh, the way i see it is there's different ways to protest and there's and different peaceful ways to protest and yeah. by by far like the way he was protesting was not violent in any way mm. he didn't incite violence it was. It seemed very peaceful to me. You know what I mean? It's, it seemed like a, a smart way to protest. You gotta. Yeah. You gotta be creative with how you protest. Almost something. Make because, a statement. Yeah, because you gotta make a statement. You know, you take a knee during the national anthem. What happened? It's Motherfuckers like, oh, noticed. Yeah. yeah. But thing is, they didn't even. They didn't even notice. And it, at first, no, it wasn't oh, like everyone was right. like, "Oh, that's disrespectful. Why is he le- kneeling down?" No, just they like just that. saw it. Why are you knee? Why are you taking a knee? What's going on? You know, you hurt. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like they just 
Yeah. I guess the opposite, the people, the opposing people saw like, okay, we can make this, we could turn this into like a disrespectful type of thing and we could run with it. And if we make everyone else believe that this is very disrespectful, then, you know, we can, we can have a campaign against him. You know, like that's the way I, that's why I see it because people are smart, bro. People are smart. Why would they not do that? You know, doesn't it make sense to do that? If I wanted to, if you were my enemy, I would think of tricky ways to make you look bad, to make me look better. You know what I mean? That's because to me it really is blown completely out of proportion. It really isn't that ba- big of a deal. And I'm not saying like mad respect to all the veterans and and everyone like that, mm-hmm. but they're not. He's not protesting against veterans, and he's yeah. not saying what, what all the sacrifices that they have made are, are for no reason. Like no respect to everything they've done, and yeah. the fact that that you guys the, the sacrifices have been made so he, so he can do something like that. Yeah. The sacrifices have been made so he can take a knee and protest because we as Americans have the right to protest. Yeah. The, the many many uh veterans have lost their lives so Americans have the right to speak mm-hmm. and, and speak about how they feel. The right exactly. to the, you know that's why they they lost their lives for freedom and we have the freedom to speak, the freedom the freedom to act, the freedom to protest. And do it in a peaceful manner like he did. It's completely peaceful. Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel that. Yeah, so it's, it was just a strange thing to me. And then, you know, I'm glad that they're starting to support the 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 NFL, the teams, the players that, you know, felt some kind of way. Yeah. Not you know what I mean? At the end of the day, he was, he was protesting what's going on right, right now. now. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. and this is way before it was even this big worldwide. Yeah. He was already protesting it. Like, yeah, <laughs> you know what no, I mean? He was ahead of everybody. And the thing is, this always happens, though. Yeah. This happens mad times. This happens so much in history, you know? It happened with um the one on the bus. Uh for, I forgot her name, but she refused. Fucking Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks, right? <laughs> it's like, oh. <laughs> yeah. But look, but like she, but she was like attacked for that shit. Yeah, dude, there's you know there's I mean? there's co- like there's countless so- cases where someone has done I something and it was ahead of the, the reason time. why it's now it's just like this is like the last straw, you know, people are fucking fed up with it and they just hit that point to where like fuck this, we're riding. There's like not literally riding, but like we're protesting, we're doing what we can, like we're just fed up, you know? And yeah, like, I think the rioting was a mixture of a few things, you yeah. know. I, I, I think I feel like that was like cuz a lot of times like in riding it was a lot of the people that weren't protesting that were doing shit. Yeah, okay. Like, that's little, how it was in yeah. Riverside, like yeah, people yeah. were actually protesting protesting like dipped and then after curfew it's just these lingerers yeah to fuck shit up yeah so yeah because i was there i remember you know i was there in the front with the leader of the pro i'm actually yeah. I, I actually talked to that dude he actually yeah. e- uh, emailed me and shit and he wanted to hit the videos of him yeah. so i sent him that but yeah it was for the most part like very peaceful yeah and it's it's like i said a mixture of a lot of things you got all these opportunistic people yeah people who just want to steal and come up on some shit mm-hmm. and then you got the the time that we're in people have been out of work yeah. For like three months before so all the protests, like, yeah. people have been, you know, some people, even in the most extreme cases, not everyone, but a lot of people probably have been starving, have barely making it, barely mm-hmm. paying their home or pay, paying their yeah. rent. You know, like. You just need a reason to be angry. They're, they're, yeah, they were angry because of this whole COVID shit and the virus and them being broke for the financial crisis. And then now the protests are happening and they're just like, yo, fuck it. I'm going to go, yeah. you know, release this shit. Or some of them are so desperate that they're like, yo, this is the perfect time for me to go steal some shit. Yeah. You know, come up on some food, come up on some groceries, some money, yeah. some something expensive to sell, yeah. you know. Like, that's the way I saw it. I was like, I don't think. That the real rioters and looters are the protesters, mm-hmm. you know. And then, and then there was videos of some protesters stopping looters and rioters, yeah, like and that kind of confirmed yeah, it. Confirms, you know? Yeah, like they're that's not it's them. Not that's not about. their movement. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it, yeah, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's crazy, man. Because that dude Kaepernick was was on it, you know. And and it's uh, it's even happened. It's happened so many times in history where someone was already for something that was uh, it was just too ahead of the times, yeah. and they got attacked for it. They got, you know, their whole reputation got smushed yeah. into the ground for it. You know what I'm saying? I feel that. And an example is like, uh, I think it was a, some Greek philosopher who believed that the earth was like the system, the solar system oh, yeah. was not geocentric, yeah. meaning that the, it didn't revolve the, that around, around the earth, that yeah. the earth was heliocentric, revolved around 
the sun. Yeah. And the idea, like the way it was in the Bible back then, was a geocentric yeah, where Bible. The earth was the center, so it? him saying that means that the religion was wrong. Yeah. So that means the religious leaders who ran a lot of the government at the time, the dude, they like attacked him. They had, I think, they imprisoned him, or they had yeah, him on. Crazy. Yeah, something like that. Either imprisoned or he was. What do you call it? Like when you're sent away, what is it called? Exiled. Exiled. Yeah. He was exiled or or dead. Or like one of them. Yeah, one of those three like things. That. But because he went against what was commonly believed, he was mm-hmm. his whole shit got attacked. Yeah. And he was a very smart, intelligent person yeah. who was thinking way ahead of his time. You know, mm-hmm. and, and he just like, oh shit. Whoops. He was just going based <laughs> off facts. Same thing with but in this case, not to not to such an extreme, but still, he was thinking ahead. Like yo, this is already a bad thing, and I, I'm not with it. And I think me being having a voice having this platform i should speak on it i should say what you know what yeah, i think i mean why not but thing is people are like yo they need to just stick to what they do and just be quiet no because the whole point of because i mean not the whole point but one of the best benefits of yeah, becoming famous becoming an idol you out. have a you have a platform now you know why not use it there's pe- plenty like. of people who don't have a platform who have a lot to say mm-hmm. and a lot of good things to say and maybe a lot of good things to teach right. a lot of good things that they want to change but they don't have that person so yeah messages exactly are they don't have like the that, power so. of the platform to do it you mm-hmm. know so it's like when someone who does and does feel those those same things, they should speak on it. That's yeah. what I, that's what I think of it. You know, I feel it. There's a lot of negative people with that platform yeah. that are that are preaching and spreading bad shit. So yeah, it's yeah, like it's crazy. Yeah, so it's like we need the good and the bad, yo. There needs to be the good out yeah. there too. Most definitely. Yeah, yeah. But all right, um, I'm gonna. Get on out of here. Really <laughs> <a> long interview. <laughs> nah, fuck that. Nah, nah, that <laughs> Just that kidding. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I'll talk to you later, bro. Yep. But Thanks for having nice. me. Yeah, you already man. know. Scat Nation. Scat system coming soon. Wait on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. This fuck is 12. the Who Dat Chat. You already know what it is. It's my boy Aaron Armitano, by the out way. Here. And uh, yeah, I look out for him. If you like into choreo, into all the dance scene dude, and I'll be around. this guy's gonna be there so you'll, you'll be seeing him more uh, they be playing on me uh, they be playing on me yeah. uh, they be playing on me uh, hey. she in love with Cindy she don't need a